Hi friends, this is the sixth video tutorial into the video lecture series on machine learning. So till now we have seen that uh, what are the theoretical aspects of machine learning, what is machine learning and how different type of machine learning systems are there, how in general way the machine learning system works. So from now onwards we are going to dive into the programming aspects of machine learning. So that's why I have kept name of prepare yourself for the machine learning programming so uh, why I have kept that thing because before you dive into machine learning programming you need to know that there are minimum bare things before starting any machine learning programming so we'll see about what are the things you should know before starting any machine learning uh, programming before you f first write your machine learning algorithm or you use it from the uh, ready-made library available okay so what are the these are the three things what which we require for the machine learning uh, programming first one is that there are little uh, programming uh, prerequisites are there we'll see one by one you need the data and you need the learning algorithm so if you are being prepared for all three of the things you are uh, ready to go ahead for the machine learning programming so let's see one by one what are the programming prerequisite uh, you required or uh, even uh, what are the uh, data source you required and uh, what are the learning algorithms you need to know before starting machine learning coding okay so this is the programming prerequisite so for programming we are going to program inside the Python so the, uh, this is just for the reference I have written that conditional function statement or a looping statement list dictionary a basic Python level data structure uh, is uh, sufficient to get started with the Python programming okay so there are uh, we are going to use the Python there are other languages also like R Java and uh, everyone so uh, so you can use uh, those thing also but in this video lecture series we are going to stick with the python mm. along the python there is a one package of numpy that is a numerical python library so this library uh, you should uh, have a understanding of how you can do the manipulation on the, the matrix or linear algebra level data manipulation so this library will do it uh, there is a one um, very famous among the data science uh, people that is a pandas so panda is for the data science it is helpful for the data manipulation data wrangling uh, a very initial level uh, data uh, watching data merger or data joiner uh, kind of library so this is famous among the uh, pandas data science people uh, matrix plot library so this library is for especially for the plotting purpose so if you have a data you want to visualize your uh, model or you want to visualize your data that how classification is there what type of data associated with uh, what kind of class so you have to visualize it so that's where this matrix plot library will be helpful so these are the programming side uh, some of the uh, prerequisite and uh, last one is the uh, science kit learn so this is the actual machine learning library where a uh, lot of uh, machine learning algorithm like uh, regression uh, logistic regression linear regression uh, even unsupervised classification uh, algorithm like uh, hierarchical clustering or uh, k uh, nearest neighbor uh, clustering some of the neural networks algorithm decision tree uh, algorithm so these are all machine learning level libraries so these are all implemented inside this library and this is one of the very famous among the machine learning community so these are all uh, minimum bare prerequisite uh, from the programming perspective you should know before starting machine learning coding so uh, from next time uh, from the next win video lecture onward I'm going to prepare at least uh, one one video with respect to all of this uh, Python packages uh, from the machine learning uh, point of view then we will uh, dive into 
the machine learning coding the next one is is the data source so you know programming now you require a data how will you get the data so there is a very famous uh, iris database that is a uh, one of the flower related database one is the boston house uh, database uh, uh, diabetes related database uh, why i have written this first the first three already included as a part of uh, your uh, science kit uh, library so uh, we'll see all of data one by one we'll import with the help of programming and we'll see how that individual data are structured what are the uh, feature associated with that what kind of labels are there and uh, what kind of data a uh, purpose is for a uh, regression and or for the classification they are being used there is a very famous uh, neural network uh, data source is uh, mnist so there is a handwriting characters has been uh, generated with the one machine learning uh, community and uh, people are telling like a uh, hello world of the neural network this thing there is a very famous uh, image net it has already 1.4 million uh, 1.4 or 1.2 million maybe uh, the figures may be wrong but uh, images are there all image has been uh, tagged by some of the most famous thousand around uh, classes so this uh, this first three database is very toy database even this one is also so this all database we'll see into the future video uh, one by one and uh, each of the data says uh, data source we will uh, download it and we'll install it into our uh, uh, ins put it into our uh, local repository for the further uh, classification or regression kind of uh, algorithm so before diving into uh, machine learning programming we should have a database so from in the future lecture we'll uh, take uh, individual data source one by one and we'll see how to import uh, each and every uh, database uh, database so these are all kind of toy database uh, people uh, from the academic community or researcher they are using those database but apart from that there are a lot of other uh, public repository which is a very high volume of data so once you become a little expert or even a master level into the machine learning you can use those database like uh, amazon google even microsoft has their public repository of database like lot of images uh, related to particular class or even a web clicks uh, data so mm, these are all a very expert level so i am just talking about the very this is also very big one actually so we are not going to use it it has already 1.4 million around images so we are going to deal with the these are all tiny database these are like a very tiny toy data data set into uh, machine learning but that will give the uh, build up the foundation for us for the future of future in machine learning programming so these are all for the data sets now you know programming prerequisite you have a data set now let's see what are the third and most essential things are requirement this is the learning algorithm so uh, there is a huge amount of uh, learning algorithm uh, but each and every learning algorithm has its own pros and cons so some al al learning algorithm works on some kind of data and some learning algorithm will work on some other kind of data so it has a we have a linear regression uh, logistic regression uh, we have a neural network uh, deep learning this is very much uh, right now it highlighted more deep learning because it has solved lot of problem and it is going beyond the state of art technology support vector machine disease entry even a key nearest neighbor uh, algorithm so uh, e each and every algorithm has its own pros and cons and it is uh, used for the different different purpose so in a subsequent lecture we will see individual algorithm and uh, for each and every algorithm we will import a, a specific uh, set of data and we will supply those specific set of data to particular algorithm uh, mostly all of them all of the algorithm is been implemented into scikit-learn library uh, for the specific algorithm we will use some uh, different library so in a subsequent lecture when we come across I will inform you to install that one also deep learning right now is getting very 
uh, famous and it is been implemented uh, by the Google's one of the most famous open source library TensorFlow or the Tiano uh, uh, library so uh, that's all uh, for this lecture we have now the data we know python prerequisite and we have a learning algorithm uh, so uh, it's time to start about the coding but uh, these are all just the prerequisite what i have told you uh, in a in future video i am going to make a video lecture on individual uh, topics uh, of it and then we can dive into machine learning uh, programming so that's it for this lecture and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, please do like some comment and subscribe it